would say try to figure out what you're most passionate about in life and what you're good at and the mixture between those two and then you should give it your all all the time you shouldn't you have to work really hard if you want to get anywhere with whatever you do if you work hard enough 50,000 subscribers life is so awesome I love every single one of you to the moon baby let's go Six God right here and Pen God. We're about to take over locals today. This is our first time yeah. at 401 downtown. Yeah. Pen best deck. Yeah, true pen best deck. <laughs> Yo, are you gonna win today? Uh, yeah. That's Chick fil A. First pack. I'm pulling an ulti. As soon as I can actually open this. I'm telling you, it's been a while. I've been getting like, I had 40 packs since COVID's done. Not once did I pull something nice. This is an LP. I told. Hey! What is this? What is I told you, bro. I told you. Yo, are you gonna clap everyone up today? If Price was here, I would. But otherwise, <laughs> I don't think so because I'm playing a trash deck. Do you think that you guys could win today against me? If I, no, I don't uh, think it's second nature to know I can beat. What? Yeah. Wait, what? What deck are you playing? Tri Brigade Bird. What? <laughs> and like you honestly think you can win? Bro, it's like such a good deck. You don't even know. Listen, 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 listen. No barrier statue, no some more. Wait, you're shit. not playing barrier statue? No, it's just bad. <laughs> Let's go. It's, it's free. Let's go. Make sure you get your Dreaming Core play mats down in the description below, guys. They're only available for one more week. Make sure to get them. Otherwise, they will sell out. So get them ASAP on tripgaming.com. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful play bet that is. Oh, fuck, but now I understand why you love 2D and I mentioned a woman. Oh, yes, give me. Go get yours on tripgaming.com. And what else you can get on tripgaming.com is a brain. Because when you play the Ravencore play bet, I want you to see how smart I play this. I am scared of strikes, so I set three like this. I go luster, as you saw earlier, to get uh, extra Sorka and Iris. And here, I'm just trying to get him to bait his, his cards. I don't know what he has. I do not know the interruption that he has said. He can have a strike, he can have a solemn judgment, he can have anything. So I'm playing very slowly. I enter battle phase. I want to get into as little life points as possible because I know that any turn I could I just do lethal as long as I get it maybe around 4,000. So I don't even go for an XYZ because I know for a fact he's going to find a way to get Faker out here. If I went an XYZ, I run the risk of uh, Tornado getting protocol and I go run the risk of, of uh, Faker on the field. So I don't want to risk any of that. So instead I put a big board, uh, board of cards that go back to my extra deck because I pull inten every intention, uh, I have every single intention of them summoning on the board next turn. So what looks kind of minuscule here where I just end up with this, is totally fine. Cause you have to understand that Alter guys cannot OTK you. They literally just cannot. So what am I gonna do in this scenario? Look, he can't, look at him. He, now, he, now that I know he doesn't have strike, I can pen five freely. I could have had more last turn, but I didn't want to auto lose just like that. So now my opponent is going to auto lose. I put up a Dagda. He is instantly going to bounce it because he didn't want me to summon under the zones of Dagda. And obviously Dagda will be easy, a very easy Celine. Then I'm just going to go ahead, activate all my cards, Pendulum summon. I still get five monsters in the field. I go Baron de Four right off the top. And then Baron de Four is going to pop a card. He flips that up. I'm actually pretty sure I can negate the activation of the card because it's not flipped up yet. But uh, he said I couldn't, but it's not flipped up. So it's kind of like... Uh, negating something that's like not even it's like vortexing so i'm pretty sure i can negate it because it's not physically in the field yet but i could be mistaken so, uh so here after he wastes all his cards i'm gonna go straight to access code talker uh because of my last turn like i said i, I put he was at lethal he was like 3500 life points so i just attacked malice for a game now we're gonna go to game two over here this is gonna be quite a long match okay i'm gonna give you guys the heads up right now that this match actually goes up until a few minutes left in time so this is gonna be very good one for you guys to watch and how i overcome pressure or maybe i don't overcome pressure and lose but you guys gotta stay tuned and watch and man if you guys got this far you're gonna smash the subscribe button we're all already at 50 50 000 and 300 subscribers let's get the 51 000 boys i love you guys you saw it my solemn judgment or he solemn judgments my my pendulum summon and he solemn judgment my duster so he opened double solemn when an alter guys player opened double solemn spoofing main edit protocol like i mean come on like 
there's not much you could do. That's the dream hat for an Alter Geist with extravagance as well. There's not much you could do in that scenario. So here, I'm, I'm not giving up yet. I, I don't die just yet. So here, I'm going to do my best possible. I go Desires, I'm like, ah, I, there's nothing I can do there because obviously going to get it, no follow-up. Like, okay, so we're going to go to game three now. So game three, this is going to be, uh, this would be a very good one. I like to see this very, very closely, okay? Game three, I got time, big, like time is of the essence. So what I'm going to do here is actually, uh, I summon very little, just burn the floor and I set a pen graph up to pop two. That's all I do. Why? Because I made sure to side in Duster on my reboot as well. So I go Duster, I everything's cleared. He goes that, negate, boom, easy. And I desire just get attack for game. All right, guys, as you saw, that was a hard fought victory against Alter guys. Literally up until five minutes left, we pulled it off. Uh, that, that was intense. Yo, bro, how was it like to face pendulums, bro? Yo, man, you like ran me over. There's so much stuff. <laughs> I don't want to cast up everything. There was a lot, man. You were close, though, bro. You, you played really well. Where's Sadiq? Signature in the world. Yo, Sean. Yeah. How's your round one, bro? Uh, it's too easy, bro. Yo, what, are, what are we facing? Uh, Striker. Striker? Yeah. Oh, easy. Yo, Tristan. Yo, you win? Let's go. It's become habit now. At the end of every round, we got to go outside. Get a little fresh, little fresh air. Everyone knows. Card shops, they stink. You need to get some fresh air. Oh, smoke a bit, vape a bit. Is that Chick fil A? Oh my god. Oh my god. We got ourselves a Chick fil A, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. I might just be late to my round one. But you see, no, I, I cannot eat Chick fil A. We just trained hard today. We cannot eat Chick fil A today. Not again. Chick-fil-A has been my weakness. And now you're telling me that Chick-fil-A right outside, 401 games? That that is bad news for Trip Gaming. Anyways, fuck Chick-fil-A. We gotta get fucking jacked. Fuck bikers. Oh fuck, I hate downtown Toronto. Anyways, we put a hop in right now, round two. You already know we clapping, we ain't losing. We only winning. That's all we're doing. Let's go. How do you not have one? I didn't have one. Yo, my brother's in three weeks. All right, round number two over here. As you guys know, round one, we face Alter Guys a trap deck. Round two, we face another trap deck. <laughs> but this trap deck is the best trap deck. This trap deck is my, oh, my baby. I'm actually facing off here against El Lich. And I know this because I was going around earlier and watching. He does play, uh, Imperm is his only hand trap he plays. So he's playing heavy trap El Lich like how we do. But Imperm is not gonna be enough to stop us here. So I'm gonna make sure to set up a board that is going to be able to stop him and put up an, uh, as many negates as humanly possible. I go Dragster Dagda. I don't care about Dagda for the sake of uh, Scythe. I just want a level five on the field for TG Wonder Magician to get Baron de Floor to negate. That's the only reason. So he has three sets there. One of them is Strike. So he goes right where he has Punishment, Strike, and he's another one. So he's gonna be able to Punishment that, get rid of my whole field essentially. Then I have Desires as well. So there's not much uh, my our opponent can do here. He has another Strike. And there's still nothing. We have Pen Graph. We don't want Poison. There's nothing you can do. We're going to win game one there. Pen Graph Control is just too damn good against Trap decks. You cannot, especially if I go first and set up the gates, there's really nothing you can do. So even through the Imperm, we still set up a solid enough of a void to be able to clear through everything. So now we're going to go to game two here. As you guys know, Trap decks going first is a bit of a problem sometimes for uh, Pendulum decks. So he goes a point off the bat, off, off the bat gets rid of my uh, Chronograph Sorcerer. And now I'm going to play very slowly, okay? I'm going to play. I'm saving the Cosmic in my hand in case he has an Elich uh, actual trap card. So I'm going to Pendulum Summon just one Harmo. He goes that. I chain Cosmic to the Skill Drain. And I get Brone to Floor up ASAP. He strikes the Brone to Floor. Then in this scenario, I still have Tweeting Magician on my normal summon and he's forces Torrential. But this is okay because I, I have a great follow up and he has none. I have two cards in my hand and I pass. He ends up setting two. One of them is a Chalice. I go start Pen Graph, free uh, a Chronograph Sorcerer special from its own effect there. And just like that, I guarantee the Pen Graph out. Needle Fiber, getting rid of the Chalice. I set up Ignister to bait the trap and there's nothing you can do because Ignister is a target, obviously. And that, that's game. Let's go. Pen Best Deck. What can I say? As good as, as Elich is. It's not, I'm telling you guys, Pendulum just destroys trap decks, despite people not thinking so. GG's. Bro. All right, there is three minutes after this round, so I'm going to watch my boy Sean playing over here against Dragon Link. My opponent, the, the opponent of Sean made him go first. There's three minutes at this point. So, uh, the player, the Dragon League player, I also decided to evenly match. 
I told him after the duel, don't do it because of time. Like, you won't have a battle phase. And then because Sword Soul burns for 1200, that was game. Yo, Tino, you win again? Yes, sir. Let's go, Tino. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, Tristan, we 2 0, yeah? 2 0. 2 0. To be expected. X1. Oh, X1. I didn't see a single patrol name. So, you know. We talked about this, remember? Standard. Yeah. No chance. Okay. Standard. An ongoing battle of the bricks. It's always a matter of who breaks and works. Wait, what like you playing, Tristan? The same as him. Oh. So you've been drawing at Virtual Worlds. Let's go. He's just a better player then. Just a better player. You saw you saw Nate. What did you say? Alright boys, we're on table one now. Last round. We have only three rounds today. It's gonna be me versus my boy Tristan. Let's go. Who you guys got? Let's see this. The battle of Penn versus Virtual World. Well, I'm a win, baby. Let's go. <laughs> we'll see. Let's go. Okay, Tristan. My boy from Game Nation. We are going to play now the winner of this. There's only a three round local because they, they have to close early, but there's like 30 players playing or something like that. So there's gonna be a, lot, a few XOs. But as, as uh, cause this is table one, as long as I win, I win the whole locals. So you guys are gonna witness that he's gonna have a really cool board here actually. He's going to Oridon combo with Virtual World. And this is gonna be very, very interesting. And if you guys got this far, if you guys wanna learn how to break boards at Pendulums, you got to watch this video guys. You have to watch it. Uh, it's absolutely insane, okay? So here he's gonna go his full combo here. He's gonna set up a uh, full board at Crystal Wing, Herald. He's gonna have Barone the floor and he's gonna have Chuche and a follow up. So let's see how if we could do this. I go Desires, he negates it. That's fine, cause I have two Desires, I believe. I normal Time Gazer, he, he pops the Chuche with Herald. And I'm like, Fuck, he's gonna negate the Desires. And unfortunately, we're just slightly out of gas. We're actually one interruption away from winning. If he let the uh, Time Gazer, wow, look at those big ass arms, let's go. Oh my god, my, my, my arms are massive. Anyways, they're bigger than my head. Anyways, they're also bigger than all of our opponent's hopes and dreams because with Pendulums, we're, we're not losing against anyone. So, here we're going to go game two. We go Joker, Wisdom. He go, hits me with a Droll. Now, this Droll really hurts because I, I have three spells in my hand. I did not play around Droll. This is my misplay. Everyone makes misplays. But I have to make sure he's playing Virtual World, man. Virtual World bricks easily. So, I hit Dweller off the bat, and I, as long as he doesn't open Lulu, we're good, and he does not. So, we're good. But going back to my hand, even pros makes mistakes. I had three spells in my hand. To play around Droll, I should have done it. But recently, no one's been drolling me. So, I have Droll does not hurt this deck if you activate your first spell first. But in that scenario, it didn't so hurt. But, anyways, we still pick up the dub here clearly. We put up Barone to Florida and Pen Summon yet. This is going to be easy dubs. So we're going to go for OTK. And, uh,. Yeah, GG, we're going straight to game three. Now, this game three is going to be one for the ages. This game three, if you guys want to learn how to play Pendulums properly, this is it. This is it right here, okay? Shuffle it up. You guys are going to witness something. So I'm going to tell you guys, I'm not going to tell you guys my hand until you guys see. Uh, so my opponent, you know, he opens the driver combo. This is going to set up Orodon. The reason why virtual players do this is a Cupid driver searches Lulu. So it's another way to ensure that you don't brick, which is actually, this is a really cool combo. And if you already have a way to Lulu, if your opponent hand traps you, it doesn't, you could kind of play through it. So it's all good. So he's going to set up the same board. He's going to set up uh, Crystal Wing, Herald, Barone de Floor, Chuche, all this, all this. It's, it's all good. Uh, severe mode. <laughs> Let's go. Severe mode. Oh. The rest of our hand, though, is not the best. So we're still going to need to play very smart here. I open uh, Serum Moon and a Lava Golem. So I have a dead Lava Golem in my hand right now. I'm forced to Pendulum Summon a pretty weak pen Summon here of Harmo Wisdom Gazer. And on top of that, our Harmo gets Ash Blossom. So I'm like, okay, now we're going to really need to play around this smart. He still has the Chuche. So I go Needle Fiber, Special Tuning. He has Chuche set, so you can still pop something. And I have to be really smart here. I go uh, Double Iris, Pop Time Gazer, okay? To uh, search uh, Pengraph. I, I know Pengraph's going to be my saving grace. Think really smart here, okay? We're also short on time. There's like four minutes left or something. I got to play fast. I go Selene. I go Axis Code. My opponent's a good player. He's not going to use Chuche unless absolutely required. I have no Nightmare Phoenix. I go Axis Code to force him to Chuche. After that, I scale the Poison. I wanted to bait the Chuche to go face up attack, face up position, so Poison could pop it when Time Gazer kills. I send my Pengraph. Now, because Poison popped this trap card, did he get that? I needed him to flip that up. And the, my wisdom, I went to that Poison. So he's going to go off here, but there's not much he can do left. There's not much gas, and, and I have Pengraph if I really need to. I flip up Pengraph in case he plays a Herald. There's two minutes left on the clock. We're going super speed. One minute left on the clock. I need a turn. He goes straight into Shen Shen. I popped out a Pengraph. And the, boom. Now all I got to do is my turn. Scale. Boom. Over. One minute on the clock. 30 seconds on the clock. GG. Let's go. Yo, GG's fam. Yeah.
Let's go, baby. Let's go. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, baby? Yo, one, two. Yo, what do we say? What do we yo, say? It's kind of like we yeah. said this is gonna happen. We did. Right? Something. We did. One, we two. Did. one, two. One, two. Let's go. One, two, baby. Yo, not to see who was first, though. Oh. <laughs> Standings are up. Let's see who who won. I gotta see who won. Let's see who won. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea who won. Of course, I know who won, baby. Let's go. <laughs> now, let's go. Now, what do you know about my dog? I told you guys. Hey, let's go. I told you guys we one team. Let's go. Yo, Sean. So, yo, we both finished. Yes, sir. XO. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. But since there's only three rounds of dueling, that's right. We don't know who's the real winner. That's right. And obviously it was us two because we knew this. Before. We could have. We, we basically said this before the tournament we started. Did. Before we started, we, we like, already knew the outcome. First and we already knew the outcome. Yeah. But now, who's gonna finish first? Ten God. Ten God or six God? Or six God. Let's right. let's go. The real finals, bro. Me and Sean are both three zero. Oh, look at those two Dremi Court play mats. What do you know? Is it a surprise that the two players with the Remy Court play mats were, were undefeated? Come on, guys. Get yours right now. Description. Let's go. So I know he's playing Go Second Sword Soul. So I need to set up multiple interruptions in case he has ways to stop it. Okay. So what I end up doing here, uh, I go bro on the floor. I set up Tornado Dragon and uh, Dagda with the Appaloosa. And this is this is going to be solid. He goes Droplets, getting rid of uh, bro on the floor and Tornado Dragon. But that's totally fine because we have Appaloosa and Pengraph still available. Uh, so we're totally good here. If we use Pen Call, we could have played around it. He used Lightning Storm. He's playing Go Second. So he clears all of our monsters. This is still fine. He has two cards left in hand. So all I got to do is just pop the token and he has no follow-up. I have Pen Call in my hand right now. I literally have Pen Call in my hand. So I just Pen Call anything I drew. Scale, and that's going to be easy game. My <laughs> Sean actually ends up uh, uh, pulling uh, DPE while we're playing here. Clearly, this is a game. So we're going to go straight to game two after this. Uh, it's just easy game. And then I'm going to stop him and boom. Now we're going to go to game number two. Game one goes to Pendulums. Let us proceed. All right, guys, while we are uh, siding, let's see what this guy got. Go. I got we got the luck, get baby. Get a Starlight, get a Starlight. Starlight, Starlight. Sorry. Starlight, Starlight. Ultra. Hey. I got the luck, bro. I got the god hand. Got this. You guys want to see a Starlight? Yes, sir. Yeah, I want to see a Starlight. Woo! Uh, why did I think that was a Starlight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not. Ultra. I just got an Ultra. You got DPE. I didn't get anything, no. We got Beat Trooper. Alright guys, I think I got Beat Trooper cards Cards ass. <laughs> first fire. Best card in the game. I pulled the Kyna, Sean pulled the DPE. We both finished first and second. Sounds like a successful day to me. Let's go. He makes us go first because he is playing go second. I start off with Pen Call Tuning. The rest of my hand is not the best, so I need to be a little smart with how I'm going to approach this hand. I go Pen Summon. I don't activate the effect of Sork. I want to keep as many muscles on the field as possible. I go Fiber, I set up the Degda, and I have Pengraph. Uh, I could have, I should have set up the Dragster there, but I don't want to do a take back. There should have been a Dragster if I set, put Special Time Gazer instead of Old Dragon, because Bro in the forward would have been somewhat on the field anyways. Goes Chalice, he still cannot stop the Scythe. TG1 and Magician and Scythe, it, it's inevitable. We're Thanos. This is Thanos, it's inevitable. So there's nothing you can really do with this scenario. Uh, nothing's negated. This is how good Scythe is. Doesn't matter how good a deck is, doesn't matter like what a deck does. If the deck uses an extra deck, it's probably a good deck, right? Well, Scythe stops all that. If it doesn't use an extra deck, it's probably an ass deck. So you already win at that point. So it's all good. Pen best deck, we finish 4-0. Let's go. So as you guys all know, if you guys didn't randomly skip the vlog and actually watch it, me and Sean both finished 3-0, as we said, first both and first second place. place. Yep. We're going to showcase you guys Sean's very spicy. Go second, uh, Sword Soul 10 e deck. Uh, but yeah, I love this deck. Uh, nice. Undefeated. Uh, I lost one game the whole day. Anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, triple Ecclesia. Yeah. Uh, card's insane. Uh, and upset about that card. And it's a tuner. This is really sick. Um, if you play Hawk, let me know. Uh, three um, Moye. Uh, three of this guy. Uh, three of him. Wait, 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 where's the other one? Oh, you play probably yeah, two, right? Yeah, yeah right, right. Uh, three of him. Yeah. Uh, two of this guy. Yeah. This is really good. Yeah. Uh, two of the shooters. Yeah. Uh, card breaks boards. Yeah. Uh, two of this. Uh, for sure, two? Uh, yeah, so um, honestly, like it's uh, it's hit or miss. Like you can play three of this. Brick? Yeah. Uh, you can play three and two of this. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's it's swap out. You can yeah. you can do it at your own discretion. Yeah. Uh, you're still gonna search this anyway. It's still gonna get to your hand because yeah. you have this. Thanks. So uh, it doesn't matter honestly. Uh, one of this. This yeah. card's really good. 
Uh, triple Vessel. Uh, this card ends up breaking boards if you go second. Yeah. Uh, this plus Droplet is uh, GG. Yeah. Um, three Emergence. Mm -hmm. uh, so going second mm -hmm. cards, we got three Dark Ruler, uh, two Chalice, mm -hmm. uh, three Lightning Storm, nice. uh, three Droplet, Holy. and uh, Triple Desires. Oh, you just clapping boards going second. Yes, sir. Um, you have actually like, uh, with the desires, you have a really high chance of getting it. Um, since you're playing about uh, 11 cards, you have yeah. like more than an 80% so chance of drawing at least one of the yeah, break exactly. cards. Yeah. Uh, this uh, plus this is insane. If you open um, this with yeah, this, it's GG. Yeah, you drop it in me a lightning storm yes. that game. Oh, it's insane. Uh, and then we have the traps, uh, two of this. Nice. Uh, this it, it just it's really good for extending. Um, yeah. If you if you end up in a grind game uh, and they start banishing this, uh, this just gives you extra pluses. Nice. The deck is insane. Clap that one. That's right. Let's go. Tourney over. And what did I tell you guys? I told you the entire time you that we're gonna back. win the tourney. What did I say? That's what did I say? There was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Right. First and second. It's obvious. We're playing the two best decks. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Your Chick Fil A is looking nice, but no, I gotta get Jack. Tino also did very well, losing to Sean in the last round. Yeah. Hey, and as you guys know from the last lot vlog, me and Tino were in the final of the last one. Well, not final, but the last, like, <laughs> anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And, guys, that's it. Vlogs only. I don't care. No more standing in front of a computer doing boring Yu-Gi-Oh shit. Okay, we're in downtown, downtown Toronto. We're going to have some fun. And we'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Peace.